Coming to you from the International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors. Just they were finishing up this 56 Chop Top Chevrolet I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Steve? Scotty? How are you, brother? Good, how you doing? Good, Chop Top. It is, that's a pretty cool car. And it's chopped just about right, too. You Not too low. You, that's right, you have to be very careful, you know. You, you really don't need to try fives and first generation Camaros, you're best to leave them alone. But if you do decide to chop them, then you got to be very careful. Mm -hmm. And I agree with you. I think that as chops go, I think they did a really nice job on this one. Yeah, it, it, it flows good with the car. It's not too... I've seen some of them tri that are chopped so much, it just looks out of proportion. Right. You know, and so this one, they did a good job on it. It looks really nice and Because it's such clean. a big body car, yeah. you can't take all the height out of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Otherwise, it looks like a... It looks like a, one of them big hamburgers right? <laughs> where, where you can't get your mouth around right. it looks that way. But no, it's a cool car. You know what color it is? No, but it sure has got a lot of metallic in it. That thing blasts in the sunshine. Right. I mean, it's really cool. Bones of Sammy Stewart out of Kentucky, and he actually bought it. I think he got it from one of the auctions and stuff. It's a really cool car, but had an outdated interior in it, and he wanted to, you know, do something cool with the interior. And, and uh, so we took all that out. Fixed it. it had a tan, a light tan interior, and we took all that out. Put a brown with a tan accent with the tan stitch and the, it's a little bit of accent in the seats with a V in it to sort of give it that, you know, that Bel Air look. So it was uh, pretty cool. He just said, do it. He didn't know what it was going to look like. Like always, some of us, you know, they say, yeah, I just want a clean interior. You know, I know you can do it. So. We, we fixed him up. So. I wonder, because, I mean, this car's been out here a little while, and it I has. wondered, what are you going to do? We kept talking about it. I was like, what are you going to do for this one, you know? Because the, with the chop and all, it's like, do you go crazy in the interior, mm -hmm. you know, because it's kind of got that wild look to it? But you gave it a really classic, cool look. Yeah, we just like to make, like I say, I don't like gaudy. I like nice and clean, you know, clean flowing lines and things like that. You know, you don't want to try to date your car either way. So you try to give it an interior that'll last you know, 20 years from now, people still look at it like, man, that's a cool looking interior. Right. You know, a lot of, that's why I don't like do, using a lot of um, embroidering and stuff like that. It just, I, to me, it dates it, but you know, it don't mean that I wouldn't put it in and somebody absolutely wanted, but we've just make sure it was really cool what we did. Yes, because we embroidered the headrest in both yeah, my exactly, cars, but yeah. that was for a commercial purpose with the logo. Yeah, it and looked good. It looked good. Yeah, yeah, it looked good. So I will do it in certain certain situations and stuff like that. But, you know, just instead of putting a big Bel Air embroidery in the trunk, I like, you know, maybe getting a chrome strip and stuff like that and make it look good. Right. A few LEDs. Yeah, LED backlighting and 3D door panels and things like that just to make it feel a little more modern, you know, nice and neat, new looking, you know, new feeling inside. Put a um, radio in, updated radio with a Bluetooth and, you know, it's a good sound system. You know, if you're going to cruise it, you want it to sound pretty good, have a cup holder, whatever. Right. Just don't want to spill nothing in there. No. Well, and this one looks like it's been done a little while, so I would imagine that it's going to be set up to drive. Oh, yeah, he's going to drive this and have fun. It's got a supercharged LS motor in it, so it looks, you know, it's going to be fun. Five-speed Tremec transmissions. Uh, he, he built it to where he's going to have some fun in it and enjoy it. Right. Air conditioner, you know, of course. And we're all when, when we get old and spoiled, we got to have the AC. No, there's no <laughs> doubt about that. Yeah. But no, very cool car. People want to follow you. What's the best way to do that outside of Scotty DTV? Well, they can go to um, Facebook or just if if you look me up, just look up Steve Holcomb or Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and there'll be all, everything will come up. It'll have our Facebook page, our YouTube page, you know, er, images. I mean, you can numerous things that you can look up and, and click on and get to our website and things like that right on any search box just put pro auto custom that's pretty much yeah Steve Holcomb in it you've been around and put our right. put our uh, videos and stuff out there so much you can just punch in my name and right. everything comes up so that's that's cool awesome no I think you and the boys killed another one well Scotty I sure appreciate you coming out here and shooting them videos that it, it you don't know what it means to us no I appreciate you having me Thanks. brother so there you go from Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, a chop top 1956 Chevrolet. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.